for it to be or not to be because uh, Polonia sets her up and says, walk here, and then Hamlet enters with that speech. So I guess sometimes, uh, I didn't want Hamlet, my original concept was that Hamlet not only knew that Ophelia was there, but he knew from the very beginning that Claudius and Polonius were hiding. Mm -hmm. And so to be or not to be was just a big uh, performance mm -hmm. art piece for their sake. And he was really, he was gonna pretend him. like he was thinking about killing himself or mm -hmm. whatever. But Sam's idea for that speech was better, I think. And, uh, and we changed it to where he doesn't notice her at all. He doesn't know that they're hiding yet. And he has this more of a private moment with the audience. Mm -hmm. And he says, in, in a real moment, I think, of passionate truth, I loved Ophelia, and 40,000 brothers couldn't love her as much as I did. So I, I feel like that, that relationship is more interesting the higher the stakes are. Mm -hmm. And if they both really love each other, then the stakes are higher. And that just makes for better drama. Mm -hmm. like, I always tell them, just if you're comfortable, raise the stakes, right. make it less comfortable, because that's just more interesting to watch, I think. So we all struggled with the idea that there was no intimate, real intimate moments between them. It's just not in the script. We hear the first contact that Ophelia has with, with um, Hamlet, according to her report, is him coming in crazy out of his mind into her room and scaring her to death. And, I didn't want that to be the very first contact. So we created a little prologue where we see them actually together and and you know in a in a really warm intimate relationship. The next time we see them he tries he offers her a love letter. It's when Polonia says don't don't have anything else to do with him. Uh, that's also devised. It's not in the script, but I wanted us to see that Ophelia was actually the one who rejected Hamlet before he went crazy in her room and scared her in this. So I just needed, because that's the actual timeline. Shakespeare didn't give that to us, so we had to devise that moment. Right. So we have just that little bit of a moment, and uh, as any Ophelia would not want to reject Hamlet. She we didn't want to be on Polonius' side, mm -hmm. but I think the text calls for it. So yeah. we really had to work hard to find the um, where, how, and why Ophelia is is complicit with Polonius's plans to keep them apart for a while. So in the scene with the love letters, where, where that he, where he's shredding her love letters, and I told her those are that's her life, and he's just ripping it to shreds. And so um, when she has to lie to him when he says, "Where's your father?" and she says, "At home," and they both know it's a lie, and she has to say it, it just like breaks my heart every time.